Hey everyone, this is Rob again, uh, doing a quick update on the pepper plants at home, and here's the uh, <laughs> the MOA Scotch Bonnet and the two tiger's teeth here that are in the ground. They're looking pretty good, they're getting bigger. With the rain that we've had, it's been helping. Uh, no buds, no pods or anything else like that yet, but they're definitely getting there. Then let's jump on over here. And you can tell we spread out the peppers uh, or the plants a little bit more. So that's always a good thing. Sorry for the jiggly camera. So let's start off here with our. Okay. I can't read that. Oh, Pickers Gills Orange. Okay. Sorry, the tags are starting to get worn with the sun and everything. So this guy is looking pretty nice. Decent colors, everything else, although it is a little bit on the lighter side. Let's jump on over to the cayenne. Oh, look what we got here. Just about ready. And other pods in the back. Another pod there, another one there. More back there. Always good, always good. And onward to this one. And uh, Bohemian Goat, the little guy. Yeah, still doing the same as he has been. That's all right. Oh, got a leaf in this one. My tags got messed up, so I'm having trouble reading which ones they are. <clears throat> so this one's the tiger's teeth. Looking pretty good, pretty good. It's interesting how the new foliage is just a little bit different in color than the others. I don't know if that means anything, but yeah, it is what it is. And on to the little guy. And this is the little tiger's teeth. And not doing so hot as far as size-wise goes, but still looking, still getting there. Still hold, holding out hope. And what do we have here? Uh, other bohemian goat. Now as small as this p plant is, let's get rid of that leaf. It's got a pot on it. That kind of surprises me. I thought it'd get bigger before it did it, but okay, I, I can live with that. Down we go. <clears throat> and this was one of the bohemian goats. This one I expect a lot out of. You know, especially if it's like the ones in the shop. Oh, look at the size of those pods back there. So yeah, this one's doing good. A couple of flowers or buds coming out yet. Anything else underneath? Nope, oh, no foliage. And I see another pod back there. Oh, a couple more, a bunch more. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is my big tiger's teeth. Looking real good. And Look at the pods there. Kind of put my finger up so you can see a size difference in them. But yeah, that's got to be at least three inches long. Lots of buds up on top. A few more pods over there. The center down here has got quite a few pods. Look at that bunch. Yep, I can live with that. That makes me happy. And as we move over, this one I can't see the tag on. Another tiger's teeth. At least this one's now starting to get some pods on it. And look how fast they're growing. You know, a week ago, this didn't have anything on it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, three more. I can live with that. And this guy is pushing at least three feet tall now. One of the largest plants here. And then we'll move over. And we got the cayenne. And look what I get to pick today. Do that. Haha, <laughs> joke joke. Yeah, isn't that looking beautiful? Such a small plant, but it's still putting out the pods. It's got a few more pods back there. And another four. Yeah, four right there. So that's always good. This guy is just shooting up. This is one of the Pickers Gills Orange. And we have pods all over the place. Nice close-up view, hopefully. Yeah, it's size comparison. 
Yeah, so that's looking good. Huge plant. He's standing about uh, probably pushing four feet tall now too. So that's good. Now, I kept, kept calling this one a scotch bonnet. It's actually a chalk scotch bonnet. And if we find one, if I can get down to it, this one's actually getting turning brown because, yeah, it's starting to get ripe now. But look at the size of the pods on this one too. That's just huge. And they're all over the place. Can't really see them, but a few small ones back there. Oh, there's a good shot. Yeah, pods galore, pods galore. I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm gonna have a bunch of these pretty soon. And this last one should be a Picker's Gills Orange, I believe. I don't see the tag on them. But still looking pretty decent. I don't see any fruits as of yet. And no buds as of yet either. So that's, yeah, that's about it. <coughs> there is one addition. I know that in the previous videos, we've been looking at these guys. And then switch to the shop and look at the peppers there. Well, the white fly issue that we have at the shop, we made a kind of a command decision and the ahi lemon drops are now out here. I had to bring them home yesterday. I looked at them yesterday and we sprayed them down and sprayed some neem oil on them again today. And then looking today, I'm not seeing any aphids or white flies anywhere on them. So hopefully the predatory bugs are getting at them. I mean, I'll be able to bring them back soon. But yeah, uh, there's what, seven pods on here that are ready to harvest. And go over and look at this one and we're looking at about the same thing. Pods in different various stages of ripening. Now the next the next ahi, ahi lemon drop that we're going to look at was the one that was hit the worst by the white flies. And instead of trying to cut them out, we, or kill them off, we started trimming and trimming and trimming. Now this guy was looking pretty bad a couple days ago, but the color has come back up in them. And it's looking quite nice. Still have the pods that are coming out. It's still getting ripe. And yes, don't pay attention to banging grass. I know it needs to be cut. But I'm not seeing any white flies or aphids on these as of yet. So hopefully, like the predatory wasps or the ladybugs or whatever eats the aphids have been coming in here and chopping them up or munching them up. But, I know neem oil, you can't it is safe for pepper plants and everything else, but all the pods that I get off of these now are gonna go into my own personal private uh, powder collection. I'm not gonna be giving those away, so it'll be a little while before I give any more away. And speaking of giveaways, I made up the giveaway for the 111 subscribers by the 11th of August and as of today, I think I have 121 so we've passed the level I'll be doing a separate video for that for, with the quick instructions on uh, How to enter which will be really easy. Just leave a comment below But I'll set that up in the, the next couple days here and post it and then anybody who wants a chance All you got to do is get in there and comment Alrighty. Well, I think that's uh, gonna about do it for me right now Okay, that's about it. See you, bye.